What a night, man. Royal Rumble 2018 was one of the best Royal Rumbles ever. But the ending, though. So, if any of you don't know, you might not, you might want to watch it. So, I'm just going to give you a second to click away and watch the Royal Rumble if you don't, because this is a spoiler. Okay. So, for those of you who have watched the Royal Rumble, you, you know who won all the matches. So, started off the night with... Sammy and Kevin Owens versus uh, AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. All in all, it's a pretty good match. AJ got his ass kicked, though. But all, all in all, AJ did end up winning. So AJ is still WWE Champion. And then after that was the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. It, it was a pretty good match. I just noticed that there haven't been that many matches on the match card because it was all revolving around the two Royal Rumble matches. So, what happened was, the Usos dominated um, Chad Gable and the other guy, Sh Shelton Benjamin, I forgot his name. As you can see, I'm watching Rick and Morty in the background. But anyway, what, what happened was, um, so, sorry, I just saw Morty. Um, what happened was, the Usos got the ha upper hand on Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, meaning that they won twice, meaning that... Benjamin and Gable weren't able to get um, anything at all. Like, they weren't able to get a pin. And then the men's Royal Rumble match came, which was surprising to me because I would have thought they would have made the two Royal Rumble matches the main event. So, what what it did was it did have a couple of good surprises. It, it had the NXT champion Andrade San Almas after he beat Johnny Gargano last night to retain the NXT championship. And there was a couple more surprise entrances. There was the hurricane, because there was a hurricane coming through. And, of course, you can't have something without shocking the system, meaning there's a certain superstar by the name of Adam Cole, baby. So Adam Cole entered, and his ribs were taped because he had that match with Aleister Black last night at TakeOver Philadelphia. And there was one really good surprise entrant that I didn't even know who was going to enter. A man by the name of Rey Mysterio entered the Royal Rumble. Because I didn't, I didn't even think Rey Mysterio was going to come back to the WWE. And then number 30 came. Which really pissed me off. It's like WWE trailers to screw us all over with um, number 30 at like, like for the past two years. So what happened was number 30 came, and I was hoping, because I was about to win a bet, if Undertaker came, and Undertaker did not come, it was instead Dolph Ziggler. So apparently WWE doesn't listen to their fans anymore. No surprise there, no wonder they're losing with ratings with New Japan. And then after that was um, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins versus The Bar. Um... What happened was, I think Jason Jordan hit his head and he was kind of like concussed for a little bit. I don't know. I pretty much went to the bathroom to go take a shit because that match was pretty much boring. And then I come back to see The Bar becoming the new Raw Tag Team Champions. And then after that was the Universal Championship match between Braun Strowman, Kane, and Brock Lesnar. Which was, which was a pretty good match. It was for the shitty Universal title. So, it was pretty much like back and forth. There was... Um, four tables broken in total and one thrown on top of Braun Strowman. If you remember, Braun did that to Brock at SummerSlam and Bro or Brock Lesnar did that to Braun Strowman just now. And then they drove each other through tables. And all in all, um, Brock Lesnar ended up hitting an F5 on Kane to win the match. And then... Following that, it was the Women's Royal Rumble, which was pretty good, though. But I kind of lost track of time because um, it's it's pretty much like late here. It's it, it's almost like like ten o'clock right now. So pretty much um, it, it it pretty much went on for like an hour or some something, something like that. And I don't know. I had a couple of few surprise entrances. Twenty seven and twenty eight are ones I really want to talk about. But number five though was. Um, Lita. That that one was surprising. It was, I think, Lita, Tori Wilson, Molly Holly, Beth Phoenix, um, Michelle McCool. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, there's probably like a lot more. 
Um, the, Jacqueline was in there. Um, what did I think? Who else? Um, the uh, both the Bellas were in there. Nikki Bella and Brie Bella, in that order. Nikki Bella was twenty-seven. Brie was twenty-eight. And then number 30 was Trish Stratus, which was um, kind of surprising. I would have expected someone different, meaning a um, certain superstar by the name of uh, Ronda Rousey. I would have expected Ronda Rousey. And if we are on the topic of Ronda Rousey, Asuka did end up winning the Women's Royal Rumble, meaning sh that she could challenge... Or Pretty much she was going to face two blondes, so... Pretty much, she could either stay on Raw and fight Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship, or she could go to the A Show, SmackDown Live, and fight Charlotte for the Raw or for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And then next thing I hear music, and then it's Ronda Rousey. So pretty much, TMZ reported that Ronda was going somewhere to film a movie, yet she comes to WWE. Why wasn't Ronda Rousey in the Women's Royal Rumble to begin with? Because she was already there. She could have just thrown on some wrestling gear and then hopped in the ring at number 30 instead of Trish Stratus. I mean, like, um... Why wasn't Ronda Rousey in the R Women's Royal Rumble? Because she just did something stupid with Asuka. She pretty much asked to go shake her hand, and Asuka just slaps her hand away. And then all Ronda Rousey does is point to the WrestleMania sign. What the hell does that even mean? Like, is, is she going to fight Asuka and Ender Reign, or is she going to get all the other chicks from the Four Horsewomen of USC to fight the Four Horsewomen of WWE? Because I... The ending, though, like, to end it off with Ronda Rousey pointing at the sign was what it should have been, because Ronda wasn't even in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Like, wh why the fuck would you bring Ronda Rousey in and not put her in the Women's Royal Rumble match? That, 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 that's very much having somebody win the Royal Rumble and not, and not like, having them in a match at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, um... I forgot to talk about the Men's Royal Rumble for a sec. I talked about the surprise entrances. But the winner of the match... I actually had four picks to win the Royal Rumble. It was Roman Reigns, sadly. John Cena. Finn Balor. And Shinsuke Nakamura. All, all four of them were in the match. And all four of them were the final four left in the Royal Rumble match. Which was surprising to me. And what happened was... Cena eliminated Balor, Shinsuke eliminated Cena, and then Shinsuke eliminated Roman, so Shinsuke Nakamura gets to face AJ Styles at WrestleMania 34, so it's pretty much going to be like a Wrestle Kingdom 10 rematch, but this time, instead of it being for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship that Shinsuke held, it's going to be for the WWE Championship that the phenomenal AJ Styles is holding. So, yeah, that's pretty much the Royal Rumble. I, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10 review, only because I would have expected Undertaker to come back and face off against John Cena. Ronda Rousey entering the Women's Royal Rumble and kicking the shit out of Asuka. Um, I would have expected a lot more. I would have expected like a lot more matches, though, too. Because I mostly didn't even watch the pre-show. I mean, I watched the, uh, the club against uh, the... Up against the uh, fuck the revival, and I saw the Bobby Roode open challenge, which should have been Dolph Ziggler, so that would have left an opening for Undertaker. But instead, it was replaced by Mojo Rawley. Oh yeah. Also, since on the topic of the Royal Rumble, Rockstar Spud was in Philadelphia, and he wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. Like, there's a lot of guys that could have been in the Royal Rumble. Rockstar Spud, Neville, Rich Swan, maybe. They didn't even throw in a cruiserweight. Last year, they threw in Jack Gallagher. You know, Jack Gallagher is white, the skinny, white, pale guy. Uh, England, some shit like that. I don't know. They could have thrown in Pete Dunne, because that's why they flew him in. Because last night at TakeOver, he did this announcement where he'll challenge to anybody. So they pretty much took him off some indie show just to have him go out there and like not compete in the Royal Rumble. What the fuck? That's, that's bullshit. Okay, so again, my rant for... Um, Royal Rumble, pretty much not. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but then again, it wasn't that good. So, like, if it, like, if you want to see, like, the best Royal Rumble match ever, ooh, best Royal Rumble match ever would have to be either Royal Rumble 2008 or 2009. I don't know, that, that, that's pretty much my rant. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much my review on Royal Rumble. Um, I want to know what you guys think about the Royal Rumble, because all in all, it was somewhat good, but somewhat shit at the same time. So, I guess Cena won't be going for his 16 or 17 WWE Championship reign, which is going to suck. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe, to sweet that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.